What's up, guys? Hi, Thumos. Hi, Thumos. Welcome back. Gotta gotta keep it real with you. Um, I think a lot of men are just worried about about the wrong shit, dude. Worried about the wrong things. Um, and and people are people are you know spewing out this very basic ass advice. Stop caring what people think about you. Dealing with loneliness. Discipline. Um, none of this stuff is going to make your, you more money. Like, like maybe if you're in your early 20s and you've got all this baggage, but the, that takes like a month to get rid of. Like the sooner that you can focus on some real shit, man, the better your life's going to be. From you need to make a decision like from here on out. Okay, just f stop worrying about other people. Big deal. You got to make money. That's not gonna help you make money. Um, you're lonely. Big fucking deal. You're gonna find friends. You're not gonna be lonely forever. What are you literally just gonna become one of those hikamoris, whatever they call them, the hika hikajijis, hikaruru? You know those little Asian guys that sit in their room all day, they don't leave their room? Are you going to allow yourself to become that? Most likely not. So, fuck the loneliness. You're going to have to be lonely for a little bit. But don't get too comfortable in that loneliness. Why are you always trying to be disciplined? I, I never understood this. Why is everyone... Guys think like discipline equals they're going to make it. Bro, you're not going to make it just because you're waking up at 5 a.m. You're not guaranteed anything just because you haven't jerked off in a hundred days. Like, where, what are you disciplined for? It's like missing something. You're missing some purpose in your life. You're missing some actual ambition. You know, the quicker that you can get over these little boy games, the quicker that you can actually find some ambition within you, that's where the thumos is. That That's when you can... You know, that's when you don't have to force yourself to be disciplined. You just kind of be disciplined. Okay, but without ambition, you're just spinning your wheels. Without purpose, without drive, vision, it's just you're you're waking up to the day. All right? And I just see, I see too many men playing these boy games. They're majoring in these minor things. They've got 100 people on Instagram, 100 people on Twitter, saying the same thing, they see it over and over again. You need to make money, you need to develop good relationships, you need to be social, you need to, to actually put yourself out there, be social, this is part of masculinity, to be social, to be able to speak with other individuals, to be able to sell, okay? Uh, you, need to, you need to think about what you're gonna do. So this means, uh, how are you gonna make money? Well. You're gonna start developing a skill. You're gonna start creating things. If you're not doing that, don't worry about anything else. Those are what you need to do. Because if you're not creating anything, you're not mastering something, then you're bullshitting. You you have cleverly procrastinated. You are bullshitting yourself. If you are worried about loneliness, thank God that you can be lonely. And realize that you don't have to be lonely forever. Okay, you have solitude, you have time to focus. You know how hard it is to focus when you have six kids? You think my mom and dad could focus? They couldn't get out of their situation. They were dialed in. Thank God for your solitude now. You know how hard it is to focus when you live with another individual? Or that when you have someone breathing down your neck? You're not going to be lonely forever. Okay? Thank God for this time you're in. Stop getting so impatient and fed up. You don't have to accept the loneliness. You don't have to accept the maybe you feel a little miserable, but you know, at least grab your nuts and make a decision. That you're gonna change your situation. It doesn't come by this this weird like little this and that, little discipline all the time. No, you need to actually make moves, you need to get wins, and you need to change your freaking life. You need to go sign up for the class. You, need, you want to get a trade, you need to go sign up for the trade. You want to do martial arts, stop thinking about it. Go to the, look up gyms near me. Go sign up. Go in there as a brand new white belt, get beat up. Okay? 
you want to you want to uh, move out of your parents' house, go apartments.com. Start looking. Go around your city. Take a little drive. There's four rent signs. They have a number. You call them. Boom. Hey, I'm uh, I'm I'm new to this. Can you help me out? I'm looking for an apartment. You want a car? Go on Craigslist. All right. Um, anything can happen, but there's too much bullshit. There's too much noise. Life is very simple. It's not supposed to be complicated. It's simply putting things into work, putting things into play. And a lot of times you're not doing that because you're playing, again, you're majoring in minor things. You're playing little boy games. It needs to stop. It really does. I see too many guys, you know, they're, they're not doing anything. They're not doing it. When you're not doing anything, I've noticed that every, every like positive message seems to come at the right time. Like there's no way that, you know, everything just lines up like, oh, I needed to hear this. Oh, I needed to, that was the perfect quote on Instagram. That was the perfect thing. I read the perfect, no, you have to be moving the needle forward. Okay. I think we're, we're getting way too secure. I think the lack of randomness in your life, the lack of comfort, I mean, the, the excess, the excessive comfort in your life, the excessive routine, the excessive security is dumbing you down. You're not forced to be a strong individual. You're not forced to, to, to need to be strong. And when you're not forced, then you want to, you think about being strong, but you don't actually have to become strong. You think about, you think about, you know, getting getting shit moving but you don't have to so sometimes you need to burn the bridges sometimes you need to to uh set out into the unknown okay so you just got to be real with yourself a lot of us are waiting we're waiting but uh when it's okay to wait you know if you can wait and not be tired by waiting but when you're in those waiting periods when you're in that fall season that maybe that winter season of life you do not want to Play mental games with yourself. Sometimes there's time to to be to wait and to be a student of life. I think you should always be a student of life. You should always be willing to learn. When, you know, you seek and you will find. It says that in the Bible. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open. And a lot of people aren't seeking. They're not actually seeking. When you go on the YouTube, you're not seeking. When you go on Instagram, you're not seeking. You're you're just Given you're like going into a restaurant and you're having them serve you whatever's on the chefs whatever the chef's cooking up you know that the chef's serving you the the meal of the day you're not going in there like a sniper you're not seeking I've noticed a lot of people they they like say I don't read you're not seeking they they just don't read why not read you you when you seek you will find. When you, when you have this, it says, in, you know, another great verse in the Bible that sparks this, this, uh, this curiosity is that you must become just like a child to enter the kingdom of heaven. Children are curious. Children are adventurous. Children, they're not in a routine. They're, they're wild. They're curious. You have to stay curious. You have to understand that you don't know it all, that you have to begin to seek, that you have to begin to prod the world. And when life is lonely, when life is boring, that's that's what you have to do is seek. When you're in a poor position, when your circumstances are not that great, you don't have that much money, you can't be down in the dumps. You should be so thankful that you live in a country, in a place where you can make it from nothing to actually getting something. There's people that live in complete poverty that will not get out. That's not you. And so, you know, you, you have to remain a student. You have to remain curious. You seek and you will find. But again, I, I don't think a lot of us are seeking. I think our, we're being hijacked. Our reward systems, our, our curiosity even is being hijacked. People are just kind of telling us. And uh, I think that you should look at some things that you enjoy in this life. You should stay curious. And the more curious you become, the more you will enjoy in life. And the more that will branch out. You know, 
and, uh, there's just so many things like this that you will never know unless you begin to stay curious. But if you just play video games and you know you, you don't take risk and you just uh, you just turn the TV on and you go on social media, you're never going to develop your curiosity. And and this just spans years into the future. Like I'm talking about 10, 20 years. You know, it doesn't. Your curiosity as it expands as you learn about things as you. As you seek and you find new things stand out for you, new potential ideas and opportunities. But again, back to the beginning, you have to get over just the, the basics, like the bare necessity, man. Like there's too much of that shit. You need to focus on other things. Stop getting angry. Stop seeking happiness. Like really, we got to talk about this. Like, you're not supposed to always be happy. This is a given. What are you, like, little spoiled children? I'm not talking about you guys. I'm talking about this prevalent mindset of a lot of people. You're not always supposed to be happy. It's just not the way it is. Life is hard. It doesn't care about your happiness. So, uh, you know, you shouldn't get emotional all the time. You shouldn't let your emotions take you for a ride and be willing to go on that ride. You should step off, observe them. You should stop getting angry at everyone. Whose fault is it that your life is miserable? It's yours. It's not theirs. Stop blaming everything on everyone. And, uh, you know, whose fault is it? Your loneliness? Whose fault is it? You made yourself lonely. Maybe you're a dickhead to everyone. Um, so, so whose fault? Maybe you haven't put any effort. You're just too lazy. Like, you have been lazy. So don't accept the laziness. Just make a decision. I'm not going to be lazy anymore. Take earphones out when you walk around. Why are you so comfortable just blocking out everyone in your world, your senses? You're literally blocking yourself off. Oh, but music is my passion. Music is my life. Bullshit, dude. Like, we've gotten so used to comfort and security and feelings of pleasure and feel good. Because we don't do anything that, that pushes us, that break out of the comfort to get out there and take risk and then be rewarded for our courage. So that's it. That's it. I'm telling you, you guys got to, you know, stop getting angry at people. Stop getting concerned. So stop thinking about other people. It's, uh, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't get angry. Like, I don't get angry. I don't find myself getting angry these days. I maybe get a little bit agitated sometimes, but I don't uh, let, I don't let the anger take my body over. Like, I don't give in to anger. You should never respond when you're angry, by the way. You should put down the phone. You should stop ty typing. Don't send the text because in about an hour, the cortisol will just be, you know, wearing off. And you'll feel great. So don't give in to anger. Be slow to anger. All right. Be quick to, to give words and rejoice and to value other people. You know, this world's not all about you. The more, the better that you can make other people's lives, the better your life will be. If you just do, like, if you just think about that, everything will change. If you make other people's lives better, your life will be better. It doesn't mean going around and, and being a nice guy and sucking up and, no, because you're doing that to get something. But again, if you look at this from a business standpoint, from a gratitude standpoint, from a joyful, just receiving joy from your actions, you will have a better life if you make other people's lives better, if you make other people feel valued, okay? Another thing I'm seeing is that we put too much focus on the end result. I've noticed this with jujitsu, with anything. It, when I have a competition going up, I get re sometimes really nervous. I'm thinking about winning. We all want to win. We all want to make the, the million dollars. We all want to make the money. We don't focus on just doing the action. And that's the impediment. That's, that's what stifles the flow state. When I go into that competition, I'm not worried about winning. I'm just worried about showing up, getting on the mats, doing my jiu-jitsu that I've practiced, the technique, exercising that technique that I've done over and over, doing good jiu-jitsu. That's what I'm thinking about. I'm not worried about winning. That's how you win. That's how you perform well. You don't worry about the end result. When you approach your girl, you don't worry about if you get her number. You don't worry about if you date her and have babies and kids and if you get laid and clap the cheeks. You know, you just worry about approaching and that's it. So stop being focused on that end result.